Hi, I'm Graham. Welcome to Man vs Film. This is a Blu-ray pickup video for May 2015. Man vs Film. Okay, so I've picked up a few things this month, and I've got a few movies that I've never seen before, but I've always wanted to see. So I've managed to pick them up at good prices, and let's get started. So the first movie I've picked up is The Last Temptation of Christ, starring Harvey Keitel and William Defoe. It's directed by Martin Scorsese, and I'm on a huge Martin Scorsese kick at the moment. Everything I've checked out of this guy is just absolutely fantastic, you know? And I'm starting to delve into some of his catalogue that I haven't seen before, and with each new discovery, it's just getting better and better. So I'm really looking forward to this, and I'll make a video for it as soon as I've seen it. So last year I delved into like horror movies, more particularly the Hammer horror movies, and I dug through all the Dracula uh, movies that they had in that series and they were all fantastic and all a bit different and then I started looking into other Dracula movies I had uh, um, the Francis Ford Coppola one from the 90s and the various ones throughout the 70s and that you know different than just the, the vampire movies we're getting at the moment and one I hadn't seen and I found that I was highly recommended was uh, Dracula starring Frank Langella and Laurence Olivier uh, I haven't seen this I don't know much about it, I just know that it gets really high ratings and it's well reviewed and it's described, it can be described as one of the best Dracula movies, so I'm interested to see this one to see how it takes on the tale of Dracula. Now this is a movie that I'm pretty sure I've seen but I can't remember too much about it. Check out the trailers on YouTube, bits of it seem familiar. I know that this is generally classed as Spike Lee's best movie and that is Do The Right Thing. Um, Star Spike Lee itself, it's got some good bonus features on this and I know this is generally counted in like top 100 movies of all time so I'm really interested to get stuck into this to see what it's all about. Like I said I'm in a huge Martin Scorsese uh, indulgence at the moment and another one that I've recently picked up is Cape Fear. Now I bought Cape Fear on VHS, I had it in DVD and I've upgraded it now to Blu-ray and I love this movie. I think the performance by Robert De Niro and Nick Nolte is absolutely fantastic. It's a great tale and you know if you haven't seen it you really should check it out. Also recently picked up American Beauty starring Kevin Spacey. Now I've wanted to watch this movie again for a, a while and you know I dug out my DVD and I thought you know what it's time to upgrade this. Um, get the Blu-ray of it. Now the Blu-ray is getting some high scores, it's some good picture quality in that and I really can't wait to get stuck into it again. It's got a commentary by director Sam Mendes which I'm really interested in checking out. As you know when I do my Blu-ray reviews videos I like to finish off with steelbooks, whatever steelbooks I've picked up this month. I've picked up three steelbooks this month, one I have seen before, one I have I think I've seen but I, I, I can't remember it fully and one that I've never seen before in my life. So we'll start with the one that I've never seen before and that is Aguirre the Wrath of God Steelbook. Now it's a really nice steelbook, it's by Werner Herzog and it is loaded with extras. This is from BFI, um, so you know they've taken some extra special care in it. To dis uh, I don't know much about the movie, I just know that I really can't wait to sit down and watch it one night, figure out what it's all about. This is one of the movies that appears in the BFI Top 100 list of best movies of all time. Also with Avengers coming out, I managed to pick up uh, Avengers Assemble Steelbook. Now, I quite like the Marvel movies and I'm starting to collect as much of them in Steelbooks as I can. And you know what, I've kept the best for last in Steelbooks and this is continuing my run of Stanley Kubrick Steelbooks and that is 2001 A Space Odyssey. Now, Stanley Kubrick's movies are always fantastic and they're things that you feel that you should sit down and really pay attention to every single shot. It's as if somebody's taken great care to make sure that everything is perfect. And you've heard the stories about Stanley Kubrick and he probably did take that time and you feel as if you're getting a lesson in cinematography and how composition and how you flow a story. It just is so pitch perfect. Now, 2001, I know I've seen some of it, I don't know if I've seen all of it or it's been that long ago that I can't really remember too much about it so I'm really looking forward to watching this again. I don't know if I'm going to watch it too soon because I'm still holding out to see it in the big screen um, which I'd really like to do but if that doesn't come across soon I'm going to end up probably double featuring this with Interstellar, last year's movie that I really thought was fantastic as well. So that's what I've picked up this month, that's the bargains. If you see any bargains whatsoever, you need to let me know because I'm always in the hunt for a good bargain on uh, Blu-ray. You can contact me on Twitter, I'm at Gramdo, and if you like this video and you want to see my content first, if you just hit the box for subscribing, it just pops up right here, and I will see you next time on Man V Film.